What's up everybody? This is Pony Lover 1989 and well, I know that Aaron or Aaron doesn't like me to watch any videos that have any profanity curses or or what what not, but I do them anyway because I thought it would be funny and it never offended me so much. So Anyway, another video game series I like to tell you about is called Pokemon. Pokemon is a franchise series where 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 it tells about an oh, inhabited re region, or an inhabited world. Well, there's eight regions in all, and and there's these uh, orange islands and the Decolor Islands. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know if you called them. Call those regions. And they were inhabited by strange and mysterious creatures called Pokemon. And there are legends and stories and and ventures that are surround surrounding Pokemon. And 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 then there were legends and mythical tales about the legendaries and how they started for how they started to appear in the world. Several interpretations is to explore the world into different different themes and elements. Most commonly, you in the first games like Red and Blue, you, from from Sword and Shield, and so on and so forth, you start off as a main protagonist, a boy or a girl, as you go to the professor to pick up your first Pokemon, a starter, a grass, water, or fire type. And then you go out on the world to do some exploring to capture these creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon also coexist with the humans. They had to be captured in the wild, trained, taken care of with love and respect, and also used in battles with other opponents and many other activities surrounding them. And and Sometimes trainers who travel with their Pokemon travel through distant lands and aim to make their dreams become a reality. And and between a trainer and a Pokemon, it has to be love and trust and working together. And also, there's a bunch of team organizations that you have to defeat in, in these storylines. Some that want to take over the world, and some that want to destroy it, and some that want to ruin it. And also, other than battling different certain types of trainer classes and capturing these wild creatures in the wild, yeah, you go to different types of eight, eight towns full of eight gyms, then battle the eight gym leaders, and then collect their eight gym badges, and then qualify and participate in a Pokemon League where you battle against the Indigo Plat, where you battle against the Elite Four, the four toughest trainers, and then defeat the champion of the of the league, and then strive to become the very best like no one ever was. After the two first games, Red and Green, came out in Japan, it was a big success, and then it came here in the U.S. as Red and Blue version. And we had also had a success here. And basically there are like, I think there are like 900 discovered now. 900 new species as if including the new ones that were, the two new ones that were discovered in the upcoming Pokemon Legends Arceus. The video games were so famous they've hit it. They also made an anime TV show based on the games. It was about a 10-year-old boy named Ash who struggles, who is struggling to become the world's greatest Pokemon master with his starter Pikachu as he travels through eight different to eight different regions in in the world of Pokemon as he is allied with companions such as Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean City. Brock, the Pure City Gym Leader, Tracy Sketcher, a Pokemon Watcher from the Orange Islands, a contest coordinator, May, and her brother, Max, even another contest coordinator, Dawn, from the Sida region, 
Even gym leader from Opelucid City, Iris, and Strighton City's gym leader, Silen, who is, bro who, is the, who is the siblings of Cress and Tilly, even the inventor gym leader, Clemen, of Lumio City, and his sister, Bonnie, and his even his childhood friend from summer from summer camp, Serena, that some people want to ship ship him and Ash with. But I prefer Ash and Misty, Ash and May, Ash and Dawn, Ash and Iris, or Ash and Serena. I don't know which shipping I want to ship with. He also attends this Pokemon school in the Alola region with his with his classmates, friends, Lily, Mallow, Kiawe, Lana, and Sophocles. And after becoming the champion of the Alola League, his new companion is a trainer named Go, who aims to catch every species of Pokemon in the world, and his goal is to catch the mythical of all, Mew. And there's a bit of controversy going on with this character, as he always captures every single Pokemon in an episode without even battling them. Then, which basically upsets a bunch of viewers and uh, and fans, and enraging a bunch of viewers and fans. But hey, don't hate Go. He's only capturing them in an ep. Capturing a single Pokemon in an episode is how we reference playing Pokemon Go on our phones. So, don't hate Go. He's he's a he's an awesome character, and I think there's another female character traveling with them in the series as well, named Chloe. She's basically the daughter of a professor, and she has a she has a new partner, Evie now. Other than that, they had to, they even had to battle against the bad guys who would do nothing to steal Pokemon from their and and such such like Team Rock like the Team Rocket Trio, who they want to get their hands on Ash's Pikachu, and Ash will do anything he, he can to protect his Pokemon f starter and. Also, with his friends using their Pokemon to defeat Team Rocket once and for all. And sometimes every episode ends with To Be Continued. When I watch the, when I sometimes watch the series, I always rooted for Team Rocket, but not Ash. Because they were the goofy part of the show. And my favorite character, most of all, is Meowth of Team Rocket. Because he has a smart, he's smart and he has an intellect and he's super genius. He builds up mech, builds mechas. He, also because he can learn how to walk and talk like a human. And basically, when I, when I watched the Care Bears family back th always on VHS, I always imagined Beastly as Meowth of Team Rocket. I don't know why, but sometimes it... It just, um, I think Meowth, Meowth would make a good Beastly. So, anyway, that was my take on what Pokemon is and why the franchise was a really big hit and why it was so awesome. Anyway, there's more, more to talk about. There's anime animation originated from Japan. It was known as an animation that originated with different types of works and different types of style, especially from a manga and, and even influence. There's basically about 439 animation productions in Japan, such as Studio Ghibli, who did the works like Castle in the Sky and My Neighbor Totoro, Grave of the Fireflies, and I think they done Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. They did they did other movies such as Kiki's Delivery Service, Porco Rosso, and Pompoco, and Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, The Cat Returns, Howl's Moving Castle, Tales of Earthsea, Ponyo, The Secret of Variety, From Up on Poppy Hill, The Wind Rises, 
when Marnie was there, the tale of Princess Kaguya, and even the new 3D, 3D animated Earwig of the Witch. There's other animation studios in, in Japan, though. There's Toei Animation, and there's A1 Pictures, ACGT, Actus, APPP, was, I don't know what APPP stands for. There's AIC, known as Animation International Company, Arms Corporation, Artland, Ashi Productions. I'm not sure if they do these animations anymore. There's Bones, the production that made My Hero Academia and Full Metal Alchemist. And there's B Train, Brains Base, Clover Works. PA Works, Dome, David Production, Doga Copa, and, and there's Gainax, the animation that gave us Nadia the Secret of Blue Water, and his or her circumstances, original title, Kari Kano, Fooly Cooly, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Guren Lagan, Magical Shopping Arcade Abinobashi, and Panty and Stalking with Garter Bell. And there's other animation studios like Gonzo, How Filmmaker, the animation studio that made the Saber Marionette J series, and Bludgeoning Angel Dokuro-chan. And there's JC Staff, Kyoto Animation, the animation studio that produces Air, Clanad, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, Lucky Star, Kaon, Hyoka, Free Iwatobi Swim Club, Love Chunibyo and Other Delusions, Amaki Brilliant Club, and there's Myriad Colors Phantom World, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and even Sound Euphonium, and even Violet Evergarden. And there's other animation studios. There's Madhouse, there's Mappa, there's Nippon Animation, Oriental Light and Magic, P Production IG, Radix en Ace Entertainment, State Sate Light, Shaft Entertainment. Shaft was the one that animated the Ma Puella Magi Madoka Magica, Seven Arcs, and Synergy, Synergy SP, Silverlink, Studio Fantasia, Tatsu, Tezuka Productions, Tokyo Movie Shinsha, which is known as TMS Entertainment, TNK, even UFO Table, White Fox, Wit Studio, and even Zexus, and Zabek, and Sunri even Sunrise Entertainment. Anyway, there's basically different types of anime and manga genres to choose from. There's harem, where the females are in love with the male, antagon male protagonist, or the male's in love with the female protagonist. Isekai, a person who is transported from the real world and into the video game world or fantasy world. Lolicon, which is affection for young looking girls magical girls girl, ordinary school girls from planet earth who are able to transform into magical girls who defend the world from devastation and chaos and sometimes they even have a crush on the senpai male and there's mecha people piloting giant robots from from conquering aliens and defending the Earth, too. And there's Shudokan, little boys. There's sports, which contains a bunch of, like, baseball, tennis, basketball, football, even volleyball. Teens love Yaoi, which means boys x boy, and Yuri, girl x girl. There's different types of anime over there. So anyway, I'm going to tell you more pretty soon. But if you like what I like to tell you 
All you have to do is post down in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Pony Lover 1989 signing off.